Um, now, ladies and gentlemen, as I mentioned, the first important thing that you guys want to be able to do when you guys are fact, anytime you're factoring, anytime it's asked to factoring, is always factor out your GCF. Always look to see if there's common terms that you can factor out of everything. Now, of course, you have an x squared or x to the fourth x squared, and this doesn't have an x. So we can't say we can factor out an x. But we do see that all of my terms are divisible by 7. So I can say my GCF is equal to 7. So if I divide every term by 7, I'm not going to show it the box way, but it's the same thing. I can have 7 times x to the fourth plus 8x squared plus 7. OK? Now, ladies and gentlemen, what we look at this is when we look at, you know, here at this term, now basically what we're doing is, again, creating that box, right? And I want to use the box in this example because now I've factored out the 7. So let's try to see, can we further factor this out? Now, you guys are used to using x squared, right? Pretend this was x squared plus 8x plus 7. If this was an example of x squared, OK, then you guys would have x squared, and then you'd have 7. And then we'd have to determine what these two are, right? So. Again, using our thing, we'd have 7 multiplied and then 8. What two numbers multiply to give you 7, add to give you 8, correct? Yes? Well, those two values now, Stephen, are going to be? 1 and 7. So you could say 1 times 7. So then you would say 1x and 7x. Can you guys factor this, right? Can you guys do it this way? Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, guys, ladies and gentlemen, this type of problem, there's no difference. Except now I have x to the fourth. And I have 7. So when you guys were doing this, you had x squared, which was x times x. Correct? You guys get that? So what is going to be on the outside of this one, x to the fourth? x squared and x squared. You guys see that? Because x squared times x squared gives you x to the fourth. And then again, these two middle terms have to add to give you what? 8x squared. So it's going to be, instead of 1x and 7x, it's going to be 1x squared and 7x squared. Does that make sense? Yes, but can I do the other way instead of the I don't care how you do it. What I want you to understand is that the two factors are not going to be x plus 7 and x plus 1. The two factors are now going to be x squared plus 7 and x squared plus 1. So when I say factor, it's going to be x squared plus 1 and x squared plus 7. And then still multiply by 7. That is your factored form. So what I want you to say, when you guys did it this way, it would be x plus 1, x plus 7. But notice we're not dealing with x squared. We're dealing with x to the fourth which is OK. You just now, your first two terms are x squared and x squared. OK? I thought the correct form would have been 7x squared plus 7 and x squared plus 7. Mm -hmm. No, that's right. That's obviously right. You can't tell me that. I'll show you how I did here. All right, what I'd like you to do is multiply all of them and see if you get this original problem. Wait, what was your, what was your answer again? 